quadratic equations methods of solving quadratic equation factorization method completing squares method formula method factorization method let us use the knowledge of splitting middle term for finding the roots of a quadratic equation let us see how here in this equation we split minus 9y in such a way that sum of split terms should be equal to the middle term of quadratic equation and product of split terms should be equal to the product of first term and constant term of equation find the roots of the equation 2x square minus 5x plus 3 is equal to 0 by factorization let us first split the middle term minus 5x as minus 2x minus 3x so 2x square minus 5x plus 3 is equal to 2x square minus 2x minus 3x plus 3 take 2x common from first two terms and take minus 3 common from next two terms so we get 2x bracket x minus 1 minus 3 into another bracket x minus 1 again take common x minus 1 and we get into bracket x minus 1 in another bracket 2x minus 3 now 2x square minus 5x plus 3 is equal to 0 can be again written as into bracket 2x minus 3 into another bracket x minus 1 is equal to 0 if 2x minus 3 is equal to 0 then x is equal to 3 by 2 and if x minus 1 is equal to 0 then x is equal to 1 x is equal to 3 by 2 and x is equal to 1 are called the solutions of the equation in other words 1 and 3 by 2 are the roots of the equation 2x square minus 5x plus 3 is equal to 0 To verify that these are the roots of the given equation, put both values one by one in the equation. We get zero, the right hand side of equation. Consider the quadratic equation x plus 2 whole square minus 9 is equal to zero. By taking square roots of both the sides, we can easily get x is equal to 1 or x is equal to minus 5. In this way, we can easily get the roots of equation x plus 2 whole square minus 9 is equal to 0 because the term containing x is completely inside the square. But what if the equation is x square plus 4x minus 5 is equal to 0? Probably we may apply factorization unless and until we think that x square plus 4x minus 5 is nothing but x plus 2 whole square minus 9. We can change any quadratic equation in the form of x plus p whole square minus q square is equal to 0 and then we can easily find its roots. Let us see some examples of it. Completing square method. In the previous section, we have solved the quadratic equation by factorizing the quadratic expression ax square plus bx plus c. But it is not always possible to split as the middle term and get the factors. For example, 
the quadratic equation x square minus 4x plus 2 is equal to 0. Here, we cannot split up minus 4 easily, so that their product is 2. Therefore, for such examples, we use completing square method. We note that in any perfect square of the type, x plus a whole square is equal to x square plus 2ax plus a square. The third term is equal to into bracket half coefficient of x whole square is equal to a square. If first term is x square and second term that is term of x are given, we can add third term using formula so that a perfect square like x plus a whole square can be obtained. Of course, when we add third term, we have to add it to both the sides so that given equation should not change. Then taking the square roots of both the sides, the value of x can be obtained. Note that to apply this formula, coefficient of x square must be 1. Let us find roots of x square plus 4x minus 5 is equal to 0 through completing square. We can write x square plus 4x as x square plus 2x plus 2x. Take x common from first two terms, we get x into bracket x plus 2 bracket complete plus 2x. Now add and subtract 4. We get x into bracket x plus 2 plus 2x plus 4 minus 4. Now from 2x plus 4 take 2 common. In this way we get x into bracket x plus 2 plus 2 into another bracket x plus 2 minus 4. If we observe first two terms, again we can take x plus 2 common. Therefore, we get x plus 2 into another bracket x plus 2 minus 4. Now, x plus 2 into x plus 2 means square of x plus 2 and place remaining minus 5 here. We get x plus 2 whole square minus 9 is equal to 0. Now we have x plus 2 whole square minus 9 is equal to 0. It means x plus 2 whole square is equal to 9. Therefore, we can easily get roots of equation x plus 2 whole square minus 9 is equal to 0. That is, roots of equation x square plus 4x minus 5 is equal to 0. Formula method. For the quadratic equation ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0 and a is not equal to 0, then the roots of the quadratic equation ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0 are given by minus b plus in the root b square minus 4ac whole upon 2a and minus b minus in the root b square minus 4ac whole upon 2a where b square minus 4ac is denoted by delta. A quadratic equation ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0 has 1. Two distinct real roots if b square minus 4ac greater than 0. For example, alpha is equal to 
minus b plus in the root b square minus 4ac whole upon 2a and beta is equal to minus b minus in the root b square minus 4ac whole upon 2a where b square minus 4ac Two, two equal real roots. If b square minus four ac is equal to zero, for example, alpha is equal to minus b by two a, and beta is equal to minus b by two a. Three, no real roots. If b square minus four ac less than zero, the following tree diagram gives the summary of these result. Find roots of quadratic equation 2x square minus 4x plus 3 by formula method. We have given a quadratic equation 2x square minus 4x plus 3. Now compare equation with ax square plus bx plus c. We get a is equal to 2, b is equal to minus 4, and c is equal to 3. Now put the values of a, b, c in b square minus 4 ac to get the nature of roots. Therefore, minus 4 square minus 4 into 2 into 3, we get 16 minus 24. That is minus 8. The value of b square minus 4 ac is minus 8, which less than 0 is. Therefore, nature of roots of quadratic equation 2x square minus 4x plus 3 is not real. Hence, the roots are minus 4 plus root of minus 8 upon 4, and minus 4 minus root of minus 8 upon 4. Are also not real. Summary: In this chapter, you have studied the following points. If we can factorize a x square plus b x plus c, a is not equal to zero into a product of two linear factors, then the roots of the quadratic equation a x square plus b x plus c is equal to zero can be found by equating each factor to zero. A quadratic equation can also be solved by the method of completing the square. Quadratic formula: the roots of a quadratic equation a x square plus b x plus c is equal to zero are given by minus b plus minus under root b square minus four ac whole upon two a. Provided b square minus four ac Is greater or equal to zero. A quadratic equation a x square plus b x plus c is equal to zero has one, two distinct real roots. If b square minus four ac greater than zero, two, two equal roots that is coincident roots. If b square minus four ac is equal to zero, and three, no real roots. If b square minus four ac less than zero. That is all in this topic, student. Let us learn about relationship between roots and coefficient in our next topic.
learning is fun. So, keep learning.